What is up you guys, it is Kai from Vertigo Vision and I am extremely excited and nervous at the same time because today I'm about to make my very first FPV flight video. Let's freaking do this. That's Ryan's Ray. Hey, what's up guys? What's up? He was cool enough and he came to the park to shoot his own drone video, which is super weird and yeah. coincidental. <laughs> it's that day. <laughs> it's that day. So I got okay, very, I very lucky. I got very fortunate to have found a San Diego gr drone group page. Oh yeah, yeah, I um, seen it. Yeah, so you're probably on it. And then I saw someone post an FTV video. So I messaged him, I was like, yo, what's up? Like, I'm trying to get into this. And okay. then he introduced me to his group, which is like a bunch of kids. They're like high school, it's crazy. Yeah. But they're good at this, they're freaking good. So without them, I would not be flying here today. That's so awesome. very, very appreciative of that, That's yeah. Crazy. I do feel nervous filming myself because there are hundreds of people out there who are way better than me, but I also don't believe that that's a reason to not document myself and film my journey into getting better. In fact, I feel like this is more valuable because I'm gonna have something to look back on as I improve um, to prove to you guys that someone can get better at this. And who knows, if I end up making it, then you'll be able to look back at this and maybe some people will get inspired. If you are a experienced FPV pilot, please let me know what you think are the best recommendations for drills are, especially as improving quickly. Um, what I've been told through Steele and Joshua Bardwell and others is throttle control, coordinated turns, and right now I'm trying to get orbits, but yeah, throttle control is probably the big one, trying to keep a consistent altitude. And of course, not crashing into anybody. Let me know in the comments if you have any suggestions. Without further ado, here we go. Hello, Ray. I can see you. <laughs> so when you're flying your drone, Ray, it's it's just are you using your phone to yeah, see the screen? I see. Yeah. So this is a little bit different. And then, do you switch between like line of sight, basically like flying by looking at the drone and then looking at the screen? Is uh, that kind of? Yeah. It depends. Because I usually don't really fly with a lot of objects around. <laughs> yeah. So I don't really have to worry about that. That's true. But uh, I'm sure it's different because you're going around a, a track. Exactly, I'm flying at a very low altitude, yeah. so it is very real. Uh, there is a... I could definitely crash into something if I don't fly correctly, like the ground! <laughs> if you see my fingers, I have to keep massaging the controls. It doesn't just stay still when you leave it. You have to continue to maintain altitude on your own. Yeah. Oh goodness, yeah. Next, I'm just gonna do coordinated turns and make sure I don't get too close to people. I'm still kind of nervous about that. But yeah, the goal is to be able to keep it stable. I, it's good, because I think I'm improving. Like I, oh god, okay, wait, I spoke too soon, hold on. <laughs> I can feel my feet like drilling into the ground. <laughs> I'm like trying to find stabilization in my body. See, watch what happens if I throttle too much. Yeah, that's just, that's like 0.5 of an inch of a difference in the throttle. So, I used to do, I did that a lot when I started out. I would just like freak out, press the throttle, and then it would just fly away. Next, I'm gonna try doing, probably just back and forths. Yeah, and we have an audience. Hi. Okay, be careful, all right? I'm gonna try to go to that gap. Can you see the drone from here, Ray? Yeah. Oh God! All right. Ugh. Okay, we did it. Oh! Oh! We got close. Oh gosh. So scary. Ah! Okay, we're good. Woo! Okay, calm down. Feels pretty good. I'm gonna start practicing coordinated turns. So flying around trees. Oh, I can hear it. Cool. Oh yeah. Whew. This is sketch. We're gonna try to go through that gazebo right there, okay? Oh goodness. Oh gracious. Here we go. Oh! Oh! Okay. I did it. Oh goodness. Oh, okay. 
This arm hangs there. <laughs> Where is it? It's over here. It's all the way straight, right by those, between those trees. Are you guys leaving? Yeah. Okay. See ya. No, no problem. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's over there. Uh-oh. I don't want them to grab it. I'm gonna fly away. I'm gonna fly away. Whee! Oh, that doesn't sound good. That does not sound good. But I'm gonna just try to line it over here. Oh, that's why. The propeller is bent. That's why I told you, right? These things, you always bring an extra set of propellers because these things are gonna bend. Under the tree! Oof. It feels like a video game, but then you start to realize as you continue to crash that there are real life consequences to this game. Ooh. Oh god, that's close! I'm getting really close to the ground. Yeah, it took me a while to learn how to stop, but then you start to realize how the physics of the drone works and then you're good. Ooh. That wasn't bad! See you, man! What a nice guy! He helped me take a thumbnail too, so if the thumbnail is me holding out a drone to the camera, that was Ray. What a boss. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. All right, so this is the last pack of the day. I hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> Apparently, it's bad luck to say that. The move I really want to get is the orbit. So I'm going to practice orbiting around trees and other objects that aren't too sketchy. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'm just having a great time being out here. Let's go. Oops. Shoots from the ground lead, got ripped out. That's not good. I wonder if that's fixable. Well guys, these things happen. I crashed and it was coming, but I am grateful that I was able to find the drone, that nothing was really broken except for that small little wire on the ground lead, which we can easily fix with some soldering. Um, aside from that, pretty successful fly day. We managed to fly around the park with all six batteries without too many crashes, definitely feeling improvement. I definitely may managed to get through a lot of gaps and uh, my orbiting's feeling a little bit better. Everything's feeling better. I'm grateful that no one attacked me. And uh, I guess one thing I learned today is that spatial awareness is very, very important. Like Mr. Steele always says, it helps a lot to have someone spotting you so that in case you end up going down, you have someone to help you reference where you went down because it is pretty disorienting when you crash in the goggles. Um, it's a lot harder to find yourself unless you are very spatially aware. So that's something I'm gonna have to work on. But yeah, I wanna call out a successful day. Very grateful to have flown again. Looking forward to more. I'm about to go teach. If you guys wanna keep following the journey, so go ahead and subscribe, comment, let me know what you'd like to see. And if you wanna see more regular content throughout the week, I'm posting on Instagram every day and TikTok at least once or twice to three times a day. So if you got TikTok, go ahead and follow me. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Peace.